Hi, and welcome to Access 2016 Media Lounge. We're here with Fred Moses, President and CEO of Telecom Electric Supply Company. Welcome, Fred, to the Media Lounge. Oh, very good. I'm glad to be here. Honored, you know, really. And by the way, uh, Fred and Telecom Electric Supply are the signature sponsors uh, MBE signature sponsors of this year's Access. Thank you so much for sponsoring well, this event. Well, we're excited event. about it after, uh, you know, being a member of the council so, for so many years and the way uh, to, for us to contribute to Access in this way is pretty pretty special to us. Absolutely. You know? Right. So tell us a little bit, you know, TESS has decided to be much more involved with the Dallas Forward Minority Supplier Development Council. You stepped out and done it in a big way. Tell us a little more, why did you decide that this year you needed to be more involved with access? Well, we thought we should be more involved. We've been around for a number of years. I think this year is a kind of a, a, a year, of, um, a growth year. It's, a, it's kind of a year where, you know, business, is, business has been okay, but business really is tough. And so what we need to do is more closely, work closely with our partners, the partners that help us be successful. And we see that the, the council has been really, over the years, have been very successful with it. And I think we needed to continually support them and, and, uh, and then work cl very closely with them. Absolutely. So uh, you have had great success over the years. What are some elements that you attribute have made uh, TES so successful? Well, I think it's been uh, so successful because we have, we have, uh, we've invested the time to get involved. Uh, we, uh, we really value building relationships in this marketplace. And, uh, and, and the council and, and the council has been so successful in having the kind of events that help us build on our relationship with the uh, kind of clients that we're trying to pursue. And so that's, you know, I th that's one of the uh, real important things to do. And the council has, uh, has been kind of a vehicle to do that. But sometimes we think that it, being a member of an organization, you just pay your money and then you can be successful. But you really do have to be involved and, and help uh, and, um, and invest the time to uh, take advantage of the opportunities and, um, and get involved with the council and the members, you know. So uh, I think all of that's very important. Over the years, we found that very important. And, and, and I know you're a little humble to say, but you have a special <laughs> philosophy of people giving you an inch and you giving the extra mile. Tell we, us about we, that. We do, we do. We really, uh, that's kind of, a, kind of our foundation. Uh, we started out with years ago when we were a small, very, very small company. Uh, few employees and we uh, we got an opportunity with uh, at the time it was uh, it was pre at and it was Southwest and Bell and uh, really they you know they uh, we kept working with them in a small order small opportunities and really at that opportunity grew into a, a pretty sizable opportunity and so that's where we we uh, we, we think it's important that we uh, we really do. We say if you give us an opportunity, a small opportunity, we can show you what we really can do. And so we've grown that over the years to, to really uh, say, you know, let us, you know, sometime it, with small companies and trying to work with large companies, people think that, well, maybe you're not capable, maybe you don't have this, it's the, uh, you know, you don't, you're not concerned about my needs uh, to the extent that I am. So over the years, we found that partnering with companies making sure that we're sensitive to their needs, that whether that's sensitive to their needs in terms of, um, of delivery, sensitive to their needs in terms of how we, how we work with them and their technology people, and, and, uh, but more, more importantly, uh, trying to be, uh, have that kind of a partnership to deliver on their, to make them look good. We look good and they look good. Right, and yeah. also uh, as a small company, as a minority-owned firm, you have another philosophy. I heard that you find the difficult to find stuff oh, yeah, for yeah, your people. Yeah. So we, how does that play into serving your customers? I think so. I think what we will do, we will go an extra, we call it going an extra mile. And we really will if we, uh, we know that people are having you know, difficult challenges 
and doing things, we we feel we we feel that that's that's where we earn our keep with you. We will we will we have lots of resources, and we don't mind utilizing those resources. We don't mind uh, going an extra mile to find additional resources to help our clients be be successful. We're very sensitive. If you give us an opportunity, we're very sensitive to try make fulfill that opportunity. Right. To make sure that we get our customer that we we meet the needs of them. Absolutely, right. and. Uh, speaking of resources, how has the council helped you grow your business? Well, I, I think the, the council has helped us grow our business because of the uh, the kind of opportunities they've had with, uh, with bringing uh, MBs like us together and and uh, and uh, corporations, but also the continually work that they do to tell to try and encourage you corporations that it's okay to give somebody like us a chance. And you could really see that we are really hungry. We're really, uh, we really do uh, try and- You're uh, ready to work we're, hard we're, we're for your opportunities. Hard. We really we will. And to keep that relationship. And, and we will. And then we'll do, you know, we, we uh, the thing it is we will, we will try and do extra things to make sure that we, to make sure we meet your needs. Absolutely. Right. Now, uh, you're in the electric supplies uh, industry. It's right. What do you see the challenges to be for your company and companies like yours in your industry? Well, I think the companies and uh, the challenges that we have, especially uh, companies our size, is we say more and more of the large companies getting bigger and bigger. I think we have to find our niche. We can uh, our niche with our customers and, and, and to make sure that we can deliver it. And I think there's an there's a area uh, you know that that we could be successful with our companies, and 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 so that's where I think we we have to let people know that there is a you know there are large companies that can do things very well, but there are also companies like ours that are flexible, that are hungry, will go the extra mile to get things done for you, and I think those are the kinds of things that we the challenges that we have in terms of letting people know, yeah, they're large companies and they do large things, but they're also pe companies like ours that are niche companies that can help them do special things. And, we'll, and, 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 and then we have a continuously uh, hunger and the drive to, uh, we try not be a, a one time uh, opportunity, but we really want to work with you over a, period of, over a long period of time. And we have been very successful. We, we have long, many long-term customers that are 20 years plus that have worked with us, and that's pretty extraordinary. And that, and that really shows that, right. uh, yeah. what a great job you've yeah. done with these clients. Now, we hear um, a lot of innovation uh, in, those day, in these days. How is uh, TES being innovative? Okay, all right, that's a, that's a good, good, good question. And, and innovation is, uh, is really, uh, really kind of an important um, uh, direction, a trend that's going on. And then I think one of the things that we've done, we've, we've done more in terms of logistical tri type of work that we've done. Uh, growing up in this industry, distribution is kind of a distribution where you do, it, you do a job and you fulfill a customer need from the beginning to end. But now in distribution, the, the, uh, the pieces of the functions that companies I have are broken up. And what we are doing, we find that we, right now we have to, we, uh, we have to, be, we have to specialize in more of, uh, specialize in areas, but more of functions and more so in trying to, maybe customers don't need the whole, whole uh, function of a distribution company, but maybe they just need, to, maybe they just need procurement. Right. services or they just need um, receiving services. And so those you're are saying kind of you're keeping your that's right. ears open, that's right. and we'll, see what they need that's more right. of, and that's you're right. offering those that's services right. to your clients. That's exactly it. And then I think with the technology that's coming up, te technology is so important, whether it's working in the cloud or working um, in the internet and those kind of things. We, we've been very, uh, very fortunately that over the years we have been out front in terms of working with our customers, in terms of uh, electronicsly, and so as a result of now, we have a high degree of, of activities that we do with companies that are all uh, electronically. You know, where we do, um, you know, whether we they send us orders electronically, we bill them electronically, we get paid electronically. You so become all, more it, efficient, it, more, more, more efficient, modern, more modern. It is it really is. 
All right. So it's been a very, a very good working relationship between the customers and ours. Yes, and we have a great audience out there. We have uh, MBEs, we have uh, supply chain experts. They want to hear if you had to describe TES in only a few words, what would you say your company is all about? My company is all about, uh, you know, I, I think the other thing about our company is, oh, our company is about delivering, about service. I think that's what uh, is important to customers today, and, and then also being flexible, listening to the customers. How can we partner together to fulfill your need? And I think we got to be flexible enough to say that we'll try new things. We will, we're open to new innovations, or new opportunities to be successful with the customer. Right. Now, let's go talk about MBEs. We often talk about MBE to MBE solutions. What kinds of products, services might TES be looking from other MBEs? Okay, I think, I think it's a good question because with MBEs, there's a lot of uh, service type uh, functions that other MBEs can provide. And I think that has been real key to us in terms of trying to find ways to work with other MBEs. Recently, in the last, in the last six months, we have taken on a customer, an MBE, that provide phone services. It's amazing that they can, they can compete with some of the other companies, but also they can provide you technology far in advance that you wouldn't have an opportunity to provide. But because I'm working with this MBE and they are a creative, innovative type company, uh, those are the kind of tools that they're bringing to the marketplace and they're given an opportunity, you know, given an opportunity to work with companies like ours. And because you're open enough that, and that's flexible, right. that's you right. are able to offer those solutions and bring those ideas to your clients to we, keep we the really relationship. We really are. We really are. Excellent. Now, your company, TES, has experienced a steady success in its 30 years of history. How does your diverse background bring an edge to the industry? Not a diverse background. I think my diverse background is, uh, now I'm, you know, I, uh, I have a marketing degree, but when I went to work for years ago with General Electric, I went, I got an accounting degree. And so I think those, those, uh, those two uh, functions or those two areas have worked well together. And then to be open to uh, all the technology that's advanced. At least I don't understand it all, but I'm open to listening to how we can utilize those technology and those tools to uh, bring a better solution to our customers. Excellent. So now, as uh, TS continues to experience accelerated growth, how do you think young and diverse workforce will impact your business? And I have to say, you have a family and a new generation coming around. So how do those new ideas come and uh, come into play with your business? I, th I think they are there. And I think when we uh, have the, whether it's the uh, Millennium generation or the X generation, and we have them uh, uh, in, in part in our companies, and what really uh, I'm open to do, and as I'm, I realize that I'm, I've been around the industry a long time, and I'm very open to them bringing, them, them coming and bringing new solutions, bringing uh, new innovations that we can, um, bring in new ideas. How do we get better? And that's what we're trying to do as a company. How do we get better? And then we, do we have those, those, that team that's open to, uh, to bringing us better, better, better solutions? And then are we open to, as, as those, the generation, my generation that's been around, are we open to accepting where they could, what they can do in terms of taking our company to the next level? So listening, young, talented people, TES has their ears open and they're looking for fresh talent, fresh ideas. They're, they really are. We really are. And they, because we really see that, that's the really, uh, you know, I think that's a, that's a, a great tool in terms of innovations to help us with customers, uh, bring new solutions to the table. And then also the other thing is to help, help us become more efficient and more, uh, a, a more, a greater team in terms of uh, us uh, being successful. And that's a great point. Now, yeah. uh, share with us your thoughts on what makes long-term and successful relationships with your corporate partners. Well, I think um, overall, I think the, the successful relationships being 
with our customers. Uh, you have to be, uh, you have to bring, you have to bring value to them. Uh, you have to be open to uh, new ideas. Um, you have to be open to, uh, you know, if the customers are trying to uh, move in a certain direction, are you uh, out front in terms of finding solutions to, uh, to move with them? And I think those are the kinds of things that, that help long term for us to be successful with our customers and not stuck in one way of doing things in an old way, but being open. And in, in, a Texas, and in particular, we found technology to be an invaluable partner with us to be dealing, with our, with dealing with our customers and being uh, innovative enough to, to, uh, that, that makes it a good working relationship for us and for them. And it's been, uh, makes us more efficient and it certainly gives the, uh, gives the customers a more a value-added resource, a resource for us to be that kind of a company to work with customers. So there you have it. We have PES. It's a long time, 30 plus years of experience, a very seasoned company that has a great combination of uh, young and fresh ideas. So it has been a pleasure to have you at the media lounge, and we're looking forward to a great access. Thank well, you, Fred. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.